Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, let's go for silver here. Let's get some silver done. Um, there's a five hour chart. I kind of like this better than the daily. The daily's all. <clears throat> kind of boring. Um, right now, the five hour chart is coming down to support. It's been there all day. It kind of bounced uh, mid midday, and that's when um, all the rest of the stock started to uh, rebound from their bullish retracements. Um, I finally bought a stock. Uh, I don't think I should tell anybody which one, but uh, we've talked about it. Um, same bullish retracement. I bought into support, and I'm just going to go for a ride, so see what happens. Uh, I'll let you, I'll definitely let you know if uh, if it was good or bad. Right now it's it's really good. Um, so um, yeah, we need to stay above our support. We need to start moving up. Uh, it's kind of sideways all day long, and you can see uh, without any lines, you can see the support and you can see the resistance. So what do we got here? We got a a really tight corkscrew. Um, you got to hit the support, bounced, and then indecisions all the way in. And it's ready to pop. It has to go up or down. Uh, let's go scale it down just a little bit. 60 minute, we're below our trend. So hopefully our pop will be up. And our pop will be above um, our 60 minute trend. But um, it's sure taking its time, especially today. Um, that's about it. Uh, the, the weekly, we want to make sure we stay 50% of that candle. And I, I guess it didn't go from when we talked last night, it didn't go down from there. So that was pretty good time to make a video, I guess. That wasn't planned. <laughs> um, but right now, as we're showing, uh, we've got a higher uh, a low from these two lows. Um, so hopefully we can stay 50% of this long candle here. And we'll be on the bullish side still. Um, when we get down here... Uh, takes a lot more work and a lot more time to make patterns and to smooth out a real downfall. So can it go down to the support uh, 15 and then wait for the 13 to cross? Sure it could, but um, it looks pretty strong. Um, you can't really tell off the bat where the pattern this pattern will go but right now it's bouncing off support all day long hitting the other side with resistance only once so I don't know uh, the weekly is um, stronger um, takes precedence um, since we're above the trend above 50% um, above previous low um, it looks like we might pop up, and this is a, a bullish retracement. So, has it done consolidating and retracing? I don't know, but um, keep an eye on it. Uh, gold, it's just teasing that um, that break line. Um, where was it on the daily? It's still teasing it. It broke it before. Now it's still teasing it. So if it breaks down in here, then we'll be inside of another pattern. And this is a whipsaw. So we don't want that. Um, that would be uh, bearish. So we don't, we don't really want that. So let's stay above that all night. See what happens. Um, Got to stay above that line. Don't know where it's going to go or why it's just hanging out right there. Should have bounced off this candle here and, and started to move up so it's a little it's a little tired um, USLV 
that eight is still creeping up. So we're still waiting for that. Um, I don't think it had much of a bounce today like some of them. Um, but it certainly wants to. I think it's still consolidating. Needs to bounce here. Well, it's going to go below our trend on the five hour again. Uh, but uh, certainly bullish on the long side. And we got, um, let me see if I can get this to work. I don't think it will. Nah. It's already, it's already to its. Yeah, <clears throat> the weekly is as good as I can get on this uh, velocity shares three times along the silver. Um, still waiting, still consolidating. Let's see the 60 minutes, see what's going on here. Looks like a bearish retracement, gap down, a gap down, filled the gap, bearish retracement. So it's got to gather its legs again. Make a pattern and uh, start to move up. So it's just doing its thing. Uh, but we're below the trend on the 60 minute. Five hour, we need to stay above that line. Our trend support. Uh, major support on the five hour. Uh, Tahoe. It looks like it um, came down and it... Uh, Tapped that bad boy, made a splash, and started way back up. Let's see if we can look at it on 60 minute. There we go. Looks like we got a bottom here. Came all the way back up. And now it looks like we popped the trend, doing a, bear, a bullish retracement here off, off its top. Um, so let's look for the 8 to cross the 13 on the, five, on the 60 minute. Uh, and this certainly might come down, but um, let's make sure that it stays above the 8 and the 13 as it crosses. So what I'm saying is, as the 8 crosses the 13, we might see this come down and tap and make a splash again. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's um, pretty amazing today. Everything was down, and then uh, silver started to take off, and then everything just followed along with it. Everything was bearish in the morning, and then all of a sudden it just popped, like an hour in. Um, that's a good daily close. Above our trend on daily. And so we're just waiting for this weekly to pop that 10. 10 o'clock high on this bad boy. It'll be a nice runner. We've got some stop and goes here at 11 to 12. Um, I really like this. Um, what is this? Uh, silver and gold mines of Vino. Uh, here's a daily. Remember yesterday I mentioned this was a, um, a hammer. Closed on a hammer. Uh, they didn't let it come down, so it became a double bottom. And it just popped. Uh, just like the rest of them. There was a whole bunch of them that popped at the same time. All these miners and gold and silver stocks. Uh, pretty cool. When you see that kind of stuff happening. Um, let's see. We look, weekly looks awesome. This is an Amex stock. So... I don't know what they do. I don't know their fundamentals, but uh, I don't pay attention to fundamentals. I just look at the charts. We still got that uh, bullish retracement. We got the eight coming across. Uh, it looks like it came down just enough to tap it. Didn't want to go like I wanted to below one. But um, looking at the current uh, state of silver and gold, you never know what could happen. This thing could come down uh, below. Uh, one uh, before the end of the week. Uh, the dollar still doing its thing. It's a little topsy turvy. And it's up and it's down and it's still really just in the same spot. Hasn't done anything all week. It's just a um, spinning top. 
indecision. Um, I still think it's uh, bearish uh, because let's just draw this thing out. It didn't make a lower high. It missed its target, so I call that uh, double bearish. Um, it did break into the previous pattern that it broke down from, which is a bearish retracement. It broke into that pattern, and then now it's breaking outside of that pattern. Um, so here's the pattern. You get the opposing points, opposing points, and then a breakdown, a bearish retracement, back into the pattern, and now it's out. So I'm definitely bearish on it, but it, for the whole week, it's a spinning top still. Nothing it hasn't done anything all week. Um, it looks like a lot of people are indecision. Is basically a lot of people are trying to figure out where to go with it. So that's the spinning top. Um, the futures um is kind of annoying because these things are so manipulated. It's unbelievable. Every, you know, every every story that comes out is bad economic news. But we have a a lower high, all it needs to do is figure out that it wants to go down. Um, if it breaks out of that, oh, let's get this right so we can see where we are. Well, <clears throat> I guess it has some room to go. Um, s and it hit that 2000 and backed off. And I'm not seeing where, where the hell is it? I don't have the chart up. Hang on. Well, that was weird, but I just I had to reset the chart. It wasn't. Uh, looks like a chart from last week or something. I don't know what was going on there. Uh, let's start over. Um, here's a five hour. Kind of annoying. Um. Why in the five hour? Oh, I see. Five hours over here. I apologize. So it's bound. It bounces off of its support and it won't break down. But um, it's just dragging this thing out. I mean, they got to drag it out because it's an election year. You know that, right? Um, here's the pattern. Here's our support. Here's the corkscrew. Is it gonna bust out? And go for the 2000 again. It just might. I, uh, I initially, a long time ago, I, I think that they'll just drag this out forever. Uh, when's the election? I think next November. So, long summer ahead. Um, just like in 08, uh, things crashed before, right before the election, you know, and they had emergency meetings and all this and that. I think the same thing's going to happen. Um, and if you think that's a coincidence, uh, you gotta be kidding me. This thing's so rigged. Um, uh, let's see. Still on a weekly, though, we're looking at a lower high from last week. Um, so... Anything can happen. This thing can bust out and go hyperinflation on us. Um, but the way gold and silver are acting and the dollar's coming down, um, a lot of the other currencies out there, I guess, are gaining on the dollar. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. But um, that's a bearish retracement. We got a lower high. Lower high, lower high, and then a lower, lower high. Right? Here's a lower high. And then we got a lower, lower high. So it's got plenty of room to come up. Where is its point? I guess from here, if it wants to get over the 2000 mark. Oops.
But once we go over to the 2000 mark um, and leave this indecision and start going up, we can see um, what's that? 2080 to make its uh, lower high on the longer term chart. But we got a lower low here, lower highs. I mean, this the the trend. The 34 is pointing down. That's our trend. That's the trend following. The price is going to follow that trend unless it breaks it. So, um, still bearish. And again, how steep this line is. Um, it's hitting resistance at 2,000. Uh, for the month, we're still in the green. Again. Uh, crude. It did a, rem a remarkable bounce. Yesterday, I said it had to bounce or it's bearish. Well, it bounced. All right. That was a nice bounce. Um, get a line in here. So there you go. We do have previous low resistance. But um, anything could happen. There you have it. Could go to 40 still, which is the previous lows here. That's where I thought it was going to go. Um, it could, 50% of that candle is 39. Um, by the time it gets 40, uh, I believe this thing will be way overextended on that double bottom. But um, we'll see what happens. Anything could happen. Um, I think that's it, man. Keep your wits about you. Buy into sports. Sell into resistance. Don't listen to the TV. Don't listen to the news. Uh, the charts tell the story before the news. That is a fact. I learned that a long time ago. And someone showed me how true it was. Because candlesticks tell the story. It actually tells a story on the chart. And if you hear it in the news, you're too late. Um... Come on, silver. Let's go gold. Yeah, it's bouncing a little bit. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Shorter term on the silver before I leave. Yep, it's bouncing again. It's getting tight in that little spot. You see that? Look for a bump and run at 15.50. We need to close the week out of 50.15 again. Uh, 15.50. We need to close above a 1550 on a weekly basis. That way we can keep above previous lows that were set back. Um, can't see it here, of course. These previous lows, no, these these previous lows here. We want to stay above these previous lows on a weekly close. If we can do that, I think that we're in the green. We will see a great week ahead next week but that's what it's got to do this thing can burst out any second I mean this it's a long-term trend line you got a bullish retracement on a reverse head and shoulders there's so many things that are happening that are bullish right so go out buy some more silver get some silver stocks in your watch list some mining stocks uh, let's get a run out of these things. Let's change trend and make some money. Uh, thanks for all your comments, uh, guys. And um, I did buy my first stock. It's uh, so far in the green right off the bat. And um, just like I've been talking about, I bought into support, into support on a weekly breakout bullish retracement. Um, that's all I got today, guys. Uh, appreciate every one of you. And um, keep your wits about you. And I'll talk to you soon.